Adam Mopayan from the Armenian National Committee of America here in Washington, D.C. Uh, Artsakh is again under attack. Azerbaijan launched uh, intensive attacks along the Lachin Corridor um, earlier today. Uh, we have reports of two fatalities, two Armenian fatalities, uh, as many as uh, 14 Armenian wounded. Uh, those are just the preliminary reports. Sadly, we expect that those numbers um, will likely grow in the coming uh, hours and days. These attacks, uh, let me very, be very clear, are conducted by a U.S.-funded uh, Azerbaijani military. The Azerbaijan armed forces that are conducting these attacks receive U.S. military assistance, military assistance that has um, been in place now for many years, but that the current president approved last uh, April uh, and then more recently uh, this past summer. So this is with the green light of the U.S. government. If the U.S. government had issues with how the U.S., um, our military assistance was being used, we would stop that military assistance. But President Biden, Secretary Blinken, and others in the administration seem to believe that Azerbaijan is doing just fine, business as usual, nothing to see here. They're going to continue the flow of arms and military aid to Baku. Baku, in turn, will use those, um, those military capabilities uh, to kill Armenians, to destroy Artsakh, to essentially finish the work that the, the Turks began in 1915, which is to eradicate the Armenians upon their indigenous Armenian homeland. So right now, take a moment. The White House comment line just opened moments ago. It's open every day from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. DC time. Make a phone call, 202-456-1111. 202-456-1111. Leave a message. I can tell you what to say, but I think you know what it is that needs to be said. We need to stop U.S. military assistance to Azerbaijan now. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, now. The president, in light of these most recent attacks, needs to announce publicly that we will no longer, henceforth we will no longer, send our tax dollars to fund the Azerbaijani military. That's number one. Number two, follow up that, that phone call with uh, an email to your members of Congress and also the White House going on the record on, on paper, or at least via email, by visiting anca.org slash 907, anca.org slash 907. Take those two actions today. There'll be more to follow. Certainly we're working the hill on this, talking to uh, the relevant stakeholders in the U.S. government, uh, but they need to hear from you as well. The White House needs to hear in large numbers from Armenian Americans, our allies, our coalition partners. So 202-456-1111 is the way to call the White House right now. Right now, if you're listening right now, if you have friends who are listening, um, if you can share this with, with colleagues, classmates, co-workers, get the word out. We need uh, a flood of calls into the White House and those to be followed up with emails to Congress and the White House, which you can um, you can do via anca.org slash 907. Two very simple actions that will make an impact, especially if uh, in aggregate. If we can get very, very large numbers today, we can uh, get the attention of D.C. policymakers and made a very, very complex array of issues between Russia, Ukraine, Taiwan, China, all the rest. We need to break through that, and we can do that through the strength of our of our devotion, the depth of our devotion, but also our strength in numbers. So please take those two actions today, and the ANC will keep you informed uh, over the coming uh, hours and days. Thank you.